Shh, I'm stealing a backhoe. here we are so this field I thought had three tile holes in it got one right there but I just found another one so we actually fixed this one last year and it looks like we got another one so for those who don't know field tile is just plastic pipe that you lay in the ground you bury it in buried underneath the ground and it has little perforations in it little slots and it takes the groundwater and brings it out to a ditch to help drain your field so we're in a climate that we usually have excess moisture and it makes it a lot easier to farm and it improves yield this tile is it's on an 80 acre farm it's not pattern tiled this is really old tile it's probably clay when i dig it up so the old tiles used to be just sections of clay pipe and they would just lay them right next to each other and that's what they use for tile and a lot of times it fails you know it's 100 years old or whatever so we got to dig it up and fix it so i'm gonna get this hole opened up and see what we've got yep that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna attempt to uh i'm not real good at running backhoes and i'm pretty sure this one has opposite controls of what i'm used to so and it's old enough you can't switch them but we'll figure it out all right how do i spin this seat around This guy says rotate. What do I do here? Sit on it? What am I doing wrong? Come on. Do I push down? No. Gotta pull up. Hey, I stole Jed's backhoe. How in the world do you get the seat to turn around? It's got to be back. There we go. Now we're in business. Well, we got the seat spun around. Had to make a phone call for that one. Let's see if we can do something here. Well, just what I thought, we got a clay tile. And I found it. Oh, that's big. That might be a main. I'm gonna have to get down here and do some shovel work. Now I gotta figure out how to run a shovel. 
All right, how do I turn this thing on? Do you stick a key in it somewhere? So I don't know much about tile, so I probably shouldn't be... Oh, that makes sense. I wasn't digging in the right spot. Okay, I figured it out. I dug out that other hole over there. This is the first hole I dug, and I found clay there. And I couldn't find the other side of it. But now I've got water running out right there. So it looks like I need to dig a little bit over. And then I can connect the two, and we should have water flowing. The only problem is, well, I guess it'll, it'll get more pressure on it and it'll flow. But this one over here, I got a little bit of an issue. Um, there's a tile that's a lot higher. It's like a foot higher than that tile. And I don't know if I dug it out, but I've got nothing running through this tile. It's bone dry. And uh, I'm guessing that the hole went down deeper than that to the clay tile that comes over there. So I think I need to dig a little bit deeper, find that clay tile, and see what we got, I guess. Dad gave me a ride to my house to get the Rhino. I also got this tile probe. Um, I know there's a tile hole somewhere else and I wanted the Rhino to be able to drive around and look for it. I can't exactly remember where it's at. So I got this probe. I'm gonna stick it around here, see if I can't find the tile because I've got water and I don't wanna keep digging because I don't wanna crush it, but we gotta find where it's at. Found it. Found another six inches down or so all right this is great probably should have just left the backhoe and farmed around these this is definitely not fun so i kind of gave up on the other two holes there's a eight inch clay tile and then above it there is a six inch plastic tile and that was the same spot we fixed last year i'm guessing we dug down found the six inch fixed it and didn't realize there was another tile below it. And then that was the actual problem. So I need to fix both of those. And then the other hole is like 40 feet over. And it's that is the uh, eight inch clay. So I'm trying to decide if I just wanna fix them both or just dig up all the way in between them and replace that with all new tile. So I came over here, dug this one up. This one's a relatively simple fix. Just clay tile that was smashed. Um, it's a six inch tile, so I just need to go from there to there. So this hole is dug up uh, This is a relatively easy one We only have one tile to deal with on here. So I got a piece of tile. I'm gonna fix this the incorrect way We've got a six inch clay tile And I am going to be shoving a five inch plastic inside of it The right way to do it would be to get a six inch tile and use actual couplers, but My buddy who let me borrow the backhoe had this piece laying around. He said I could have it so we're gonna fix it the incorrect way. This hole filled with water and it's not going anywhere. So I don't think this is really gonna do me much good, but at least I won't have a hole here anymore. Um, I can't just fill it back in. I gotta put something in there. So we're gonna cut that piece off, shove it in there, go back over to that mess and decide what I wanna do. Go. Oh. 
I dug down too deep. That's a no-no. You're not supposed to do that. The uh, Where the tile's sitting, you're not supposed to dig any lower than that because that is packed firm. But I'm not a backhoe operator. I'm not very proficient at it. So we just dug a big hole, figured out what we got and we'll clean it up later. So I think I decided because those two holes are so close together, I'm just gonna dig it up all the way and replace it, but I don't have any tile with me, so I'm gonna have to track down some. Unfortunately, tomorrow is Saturday, and I don't think the tile yard is open. There's an actual place that makes tile just like five miles away, which is really handy, but I think I might be able to get some from a buddy of mine and then replace it, and go from there but while I've got this backhoe here there's a few trees I want to pop out of the corner of this field I'm gonna go see if I can do that real quick that's probably gonna do it for today I will pick up this video for the tile part after I find some tile So this happened. The tire came off the bead. So looks like I'm gonna be fixing the tire. I almost got my trees cleaned up. I got one of them dug out. The last one's dug out. I just gotta push it up in the pile and some dirt to level out, but uh, I can't do anything with a bad tire. So we're gonna finish this project tomorrow, I guess. Shoot. So now I get to walk back to the middle of the field to get the rhino. Got the backhoe locked up. Hopefully nobody does anything to it tonight. I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do about that tire. So we're just having all kinds of fun out here. <laughs> and uh, this ground is actually drying up pretty nicely. I don't know if we'll be able to plant tomorrow, but the next day for sure. Uh, next chance of rain is next Monday. Maybe we can get a little bit done before then. We'll see. And we're back. We gotta do something about this tire. I'm gonna see if I can pop it off and take it over to Grandpa's. We got a bead blaster. Hopefully not too much dirt got inside of it. And I can just pop it back on the bead, air it up, and bring it back out here and put it on. But I gotta get them broke loose first. My impact won't do it, so we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. And hopefully they break loose. See what we can do here. Ah, that's a good sign. There's one. Ugh. That's not right. Shoot. 
Well, I got them all broke loose except one. And broke my breaker bar. I broke this ratchet. That one didn't even try. And I'm trying to decide if I want to sacrifice my favorite ratchet or if I want to go get another breaker bar. I think we're just going to go for it. I, it did pop with the breaker bar before it broke, I think. So let's try it. Let's try it this way first. Ooh. Do I jump on it or do I not? I don't know. I think we're just going to go for it. Well, ratchet didn't break and it didn't break loose, so I'm going to have to figure something else out. I just remembered I have this thing, a little impact smacker dealio. Oh, there goes my socket. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a shot. That did basically nothing, I think. Yep. I was right. Well, I ran home, got some more tools. Got two more breaker bars to ruin. A jack handle. You know what that's for. And a chainsaw. Let's see if we can get this thing off. I'm just kidding. Oh my goodness. It's my last breaker bar. There goes nothing. Did it break? Or did it break loose? It broke loose! Finally! Alright. I should be able to get them with the impact now. Alright, that's going to have to stay there and not fall off. So this is our homemade bead blaster. It's really handy and it's also really fun to launch potatoes out of. Easy as that. Tires fixed. The reason why I brought my chainsaw is I got to cut the root ball off that last tree I dug up. This thing's having trouble moving it. So I'm going to go do that real quick and then get back to my tile project. I still haven't decided what I want to do on that yet. Guess we'll figure it out. Ooh, there's some teeth. Huh. Well, they don't look human, so that's good. All right, so here we are back at the hole. I'm trying to decide since I've got this hole and that hole, they're about 80 feet apart. If I just want to fix it here and fix it there and fill my holes in, or if I just want to dig it up all the way and replace that 80 feet of tile, that would be the right thing to do. But like I said, I'm not very proficient at this whole backhoe thing. So that might take me a while. Um, I really should do that though. So. I think that's what I'm going to do. I still have to deal with this tile and it is just far enough over that I should be able to dig right there and not have to worry about it. So I think I'm going to dig this up and just get it open, let it run for a while. Hopefully I don't completely smash the clay tiles if I can dig right down to the top of them and pop them out and still use that trench to lay my new tile in. This tile is actually running really well. It's kind of surprising. 
for an old clay tire like that that's half full but let's get going here i got stuff to do I've kind of got a mess here. I started popping tiles out and there was so much water coming in that it was just making a swamp. So I covered that up with dirt. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. To stop the water for now. I'm trying to work really fast. I strung this tile out. I'm going to get it connected over here and then try and lay it in here. And then uh, I'll have enough extra laying out that I can reopen up that. Probably have to let the water drain for a little bit and then connect it up there. So this is not a fun job and I really need to finish it up because I think I can go plant some beans. Let's get this done. Got the tile partially laid in here. I need to start covering up with the shovel starting at this end. That way it pushes the tile that way if I get any humps in it and I can cut it off and make my connection. Hopefully we're done. This is getting frustrating. Well, it's back together. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm not a tile guy. And I, I'm probably not going to attempt to fix any tile holes for a long time because that was not fun. And I, I just really don't know if I did it right. I don't know. We've got a new string of tile in here. I think I'm going to leave the trench open for tonight because we're not going to get this planted for a little bit. And I want to make sure this water goes somewhere. Hopefully down the pipe. But, uh this end we've got water coming in well not really coming in it's just kind of sitting here and i don't know if the water's i don't know if the tile's taking it or not so i've had enough of this project i need a break i think i'm gonna go plant some beans we'll pick this up later well we're back out here at this project uh just checking things out i left it open last night um it looks like my tile is working probably not working great but it is working this was completely full of water you couldn't even see the tile kind of got a little bit of a curve to it because i cut it too long and then i just had to shove it in there as fast as i could but it'll be okay that's fine i think we're good enough to just fill this thing in because we actually want to plant this farm today so that's what i'm going to do i'll probably use the backhoe bucket put some dirt on this just kind of gently so I don't completely smash it. And then I'll spin it around, use the front bucket, and just start filling it in. Um, kind of pick up all these pieces of tile, get them out of here, and we should be good to go. So things I learned on my first tile repair job. Uh, the biggest thing is just call someone and pay them to do it because it's a terrible job and it's no part of it's fun. That's the main thing. But the other thing is, if you've got two holes less than 100 feet apart and you know they've been repaired in the exact same spot before, just plan on digging it all the way between the two to begin with. Because if you open them both up, then you can't get on top of your tile line and dig this way following the tile. And it's a lot harder to dig across the tile because you can't see anything. Uh, you could snag the tile if you're digging with the tile you can get down to the tile and you can just scratch the top of it and clean it off and then either cut it or whatever pop it out with a shovel yeah those are the main things i've learned but you don't learn if you don't try so let's get this thing filled in so you remember how earlier in the video i had a tire off speed
I'm done with this video. We're just going to end it here. Have a good one.